Hello everyone, in today's episode uh, we're gonna be learning how to open the doors so this is gonna be your end result you can open and close the doors and in this uh, series I'm also gonna teach you how to adjust the pivot points because most of the free models are not gonna have perfect pivot point so make sure you watch this see ya in the couple seconds hello everyone welcome to the seventh episode of this tutorials in this episode we're gonna be learning how to open the doors and uh, it's actually pretty simple uh, we will just open our blueprints and before we start with the doors i want to teach you how to do uh, one important thing that we forgot that i forgot uh, so we're gonna open map one and we're gonna head to content blueprints actors and we didn't create base interaction um, actor which basically works uh, we create it once by clicking right click blueprint, blueprint class actor call it bp interaction and here we want to set up everything that we want to have uh, everything that we want to have in every single actor out there so for example we want to have in class settings we want to inherit it implement interfa interfaces bp interact so we want every uh, interaction uh, actor to have it the actor that we are going to interact so in event graph also what i want to do is i want to cast to hp character to get the reference so we can use our character in every interactable scenario so we can add things to our character object is just going to be get the character and as character as hp character we will promote it to variable and get the character reference so basically with this character reference we're just going to be able to pull information from our blueprint uh, character blueprint so for example if we have a battery system and we have a flows for battery here we can uh, add or remove battery on interaction so let's see let's say we want to create a battery pickup that's why we need this so we're just going to compile save as this is we are done so all that we wanted to do we're gonna head over to the blueprint actors and we're just gonna copy now and call it copy bp interaction and call it bp doors and uh, as you can see we have actually uh we're not gonna do it like this you can delete it we are gonna create a child blueprint class and call it bp doors now when you open the event graph you can see this it's a uh, child so it's gonna take its parents um, codes so now if we get character reference we can get our character reference since we cast it in the base model that we just create a child of and as you can see we forgot to tick is interactable because if we don't tick this it's not gonna be interactable nice okay so now we need to create our doors uh, since I don't have a model I will teach you how to create a doors and how to change its pivot so we're gonna add the uh, cube and we're gonna call it the doors I think this is gonna be fine we can check how it looks by pulling it into the scene let's check the height they're a little bit too big but this should do we can go and check they're a little bit big but it's good for now good for tutorial you can play with it of course but you will probably have a door model so you won't need to go through this but what you will need to go through with your door model if your pivot is not set correctly and if you are taking the ones from the sketch hub and other free sites mostly they are not gonna be prepared with pivot so how do we fix this because now our timeline works by changing this rotation but if we just change rotation it's gonna be like this you know the whole doors are gonna move so we don't want that we will simply create scene component just type in scene and create it and call it pivot I will call it pivot and we need to get its uh, location and simply just pull it like this you want to pull it 
on the corner right here and this is gonna be used for our rotation and this should be working perfect I think so now once you set that we want to put doors into pivot and now if we want to rotate we select pivot we can rotate doors like that magic perfect so now I will I will create simple material for our doors I will go to content create folder materials and right click create material call it doors mat and simply hold three on your keyboard and left click you're gonna get this pull it to base color and here you can set up the color of course this is very simple color but for now it will do we will get something like brown this will do we're gonna apply save and make sure you save all once in a while so you don't lose it if the engine crash and now we can uh, we cannot pull it like this because this is our blueprint actor and we need to do it from here and now you can see it took effect here okay so now we need to create animation for these doors and we're gonna do it simply by going bp doors event graph and on interact we double click and on interact we're gonna uh, add timeline call it open door double click create track add flow track call it alpha and length is gonna be 0 050 this is basically the length how uh, how are how many how many seconds the doors are gonna be opening so if you want it to be slower you will increase it if you want it to be faster it means like let's say I want it to open in 20 milliseconds I'm gonna just type like this that's for I for me it works good like this so now I will hold shift press left click hold shift press left click the first one select put everything to zero because our time is gonna be zero and our value is gonna be zero here time will be zero uh, sorry here time will be 0 050 so this is basically your end time length and the value is going to be 1 so now you're questioning why the value is 1 if we just created the if if i just show you that we are going to change its rotation number so let's like build again so you see this is our rotation number and we need it to be minus 90 to open it and I put 1 well I'm gonna show you why I did that in a second so this should be good like this and on update we're gonna get pivot so don't get doors you need to get pivot because we're gonna be rotating pivot not the doors because doors have different pivot you see this is our doors pivot we don't want it we want the pivot that we just made so we want our pivot reference here we can just pull it like this and set relative rotation so there is a difference between set look uh, set actor location and set relative location you can also uh, set world location sorry you could do this but this is not really good because with this you need to hard code it and it's gonna be possible to rotate it only in that particular uh, only in that particular position uh, this is location you can also set world rotation but it's just an example so always use relative rotation since if you don't use relative rotation your uh, your BP code won't be really modular and you won't be able to duplicate these doors and they are not gonna be working the same way okay now we'll pull a uh, update into this and also from here I will split struct pin and we want to change its Z rotation so I will make rotator I'll make rotator like this and I will recombine this sorry I 
we got lost there. So we're just gonna pull new rotation into our return value of the make rotator. And basically what we want to do here is we want to get lerp. So get lerp and connect alpha to alpha because the alpha is gonna go from zero to one, just like this one. But our zero value is gonna be this and our one value is gonna be this. So here we're gonna put minus 90 and return value is gonna go into z because we just want to uh, change the z rotation. So we just want this. So now this should be working, but we can only open them now. And I want to create it a bit better by creating a variable is door closed and make it a boolean. So now we're gonna uh, 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 we're gonna get is door closed. Hold B, left click, or just type in branch. Condition is gonna be is door closed. So if the door is closed and they are gonna be closed by default, make sure you tick this. So compile and tick this uh, because our doors are gonna be closed at the start. So if the door is closed, I want to open them. But before oh, I, before I open them, I want to uh, 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 I want to set the boolean of the is door close to be false because we literally open the doors so this is gonna be for it and what did i duplicate and just copy it and false so if the doors is not closed we're gonna close them and we're just gonna reverse it so this now should work we can compile save Play. And as you can see, we can close the doors and we can open the doors. So that works perfect. We created our doors and they are working perfectly. Uh, I hope I didn't uh, make it a little bit hard to follow here, but basically just we are creating rotator of our rota of our new rotation and in that rotator we're gonna setting up our z value uh, by lerping so that means in when we open the doors here in the timeline we can put this to zero and this to one and this lerp is basically just gonna represent those numbers a is gonna represent the first number and uh, b the second one so why we use this is very simple as well uh, we created boolean because we want to check is door closed and if the doors are not closed we are gonna open them and if we didn't set up this boolean we wouldn't be able to tell this the game okay are the doors closed what am i supposed to do am i supposed to play or reverse so reverse just means that they are gonna play animation backwards so from the 90 to zero and this helps us to tell our uh, game what to do so if the door is closed we're gonna set the boolean to be uh, 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 false because we're gonna open them and if the door is not closed we're gonna set the boolean that the doors are closed because we're just gonna close them here so that works perfect as we just saw we can open the doors and if you want to add the sound of opening the doors you can just uh, from here play sound 2d and you can play the sound but i don't have sound so I'm not gonna do it in this episode. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and record the second episode uh, that I wanted to do because yesterday I didn't uh, upload any tutorials. So see you guys uh, in the next video. Bye.